goes Cruden on a searching run. Taken down on the tackle by Tranduk. Ball laid back there for Wepu. Now here's Thorne running hard at Munnis. And the ball lost forward, and now the All Blacks have a player down, and it's Aaron Cruden. But uh, Stephen Donald up and about. Just uh, the white bait net has to wait for a more important occasion. None more than this. Well, of course, uh, this is the other goal-kicking option we were just discussing too, Grant Fox, and that the, the right leg, of course, is uh, yeah, it's kicking leg. But if he goes off, Donald is the goal-kicker, of course. Mm. No good. No good. Well, that's sad for Aaron Cruden. Both number 10s have been pushed out of the game. And, well, cometh the out. Well, cometh the man. Number four, 5'8 for the All Blacks. It's been a jinx position, but, well, Stephen Donald's got plenty of experience. And, boy, he will be excited about this opportunity right here. He's been in this team a lot, played with Wepo a lot. He will know the systems and the calls. 23rd cap. What a twist of fate. Crouch. Unbelievable. Being asked to pass the ball up. And it's on the front side penalty though. Now, who's going to do yeah. the goal kicking? That's your question. question. Stephen Donald striding forward. Yeah. Pointing to the posts. Confidently too, and I like that. And I love the cheer he's getting from this crowd at Eden Park. This man's copped a bit of criticism in his time, but he's a guy that the All Black players love and respect. And so cometh the hour. Well, in any normal situation, Grant Fox, uh, you're back in here, but uh, we think he's been, and uh, the lack of rugby he's played and the occasion as big a kick as you'll ever get. Well, he has kicked 95 points. He scored 95 points in Test Rugby. Here's his kick. And he's nailed it. Good left shoulder forward. Head down, follow through. 